Good evening, my name is Tyler Young, and in relation to sports and critical thinking, I would like to talk about tragedy, victory, and the mob mentality. Over the course of the past few weeks in this class, we discussed that critical thinking is basically the processes that people go through in order to make a decision in life. In relation to that, some of the characteristics that I feel like we've strongly touched on throughout this course is rationality, self-awareness, honesty, open-mindedness, discipline, and judgment. Now out of all those, what sticks out to me the most in relation to this topic is discipline. Sports, I mean, they, they bring the world together, they make friends, they make foes, they, they're basically just a giant gathering of people that consistently either can make or break relationships, they determine sports betting, there's just, they have such a big impact on the world as we know it. With large events like the World Cup coming up, they just completely take over the world on a global scale. And the reason discipline sticks out to me the most is my first topic, is victory in relation to tragedy. Now, what you may be thinking is, what you, a lot of people will say online is that sports are rigged and blah, 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 now more than ever with the way the NBA Finals have been going. <clears throat> but the reason I wanted to relate it back to tragedy is it seems to me that whenever a country or a state or a city goes through some sort of tragedy, they oftentimes unite and end up becoming victorious. And in relation to teams doing this, players have done it as well, which I will touch on, but for the big focus of this, I wanted to talk about teams as the majority. Now first, I'm gonna bring it all the way back to 2002, since most people that are from Massachusetts, I'm a diehard Patriots fan, so I had to bring up this. Um, obviously, the September 11 attacks in 2001 one of the worst tragedies our nation has ever faced. And a few months, just five months after that tragedy happened, the Patriots, although the attack occurred in New York City, the symbolism of a Patriot is basically someone who just embellishes the American spirit. And the Patriots won their first Super Bowl five months after that tragedy happened. Now, although it did not happen in Boston, one of the planes that did crash that day, one of the four, did take off from Boston, so there was a lot of people from that city whose lives were lost. That's just one of the many examples I would like to touch on. In addition to that, I would like to touch on the tsunami, 2011, that hit Japan. It was just an awful tsunami that wiped out so many towns and took the lives of tons of innocent people. And just a few months after that, the Japan's women's soccer team wins the World Cup with the United States to be the heavy favorites. And as we're going through this, more and more teams, it kind of brought up to me, what, what compels these teams when they go through such a tragedy, when most people are very distraught, they can't even process going through daily life tasks to just you come together and win? It seems like something that is just so unrealistic, but yet teams are able to do it. What comes to mind is that when faced with the greatest tragedy, our minds just block out and do whatever we think we can do to become better. So if that's in relation to playing sports, if that's in relation to reading books, whatever something that makes us happy, Something that we've been, could have been doing our entire lives, but we do something that makes us happy. Something that we've always done. And we're able to block out that pain, suffering, whatever is negative in our minds and lead us to happiness. While that may be temporary, it can bring people together. It's just a great thing. In addition to just these two teams, I would like to touch on last year in the NBA, Playoffs, Isaiah Thomas's sister passed away unexpectedly in a car accident, and the next day he scored 33 points, which is a very high mark typically in the NBA. And it just seems like he was in such pain, you could see it in his face, but he was still playing with everything he had. It seemed like he was just working through the pain, he was funneling all of that pain in emotion 
and critically thinking to get it out of his body by doing the one thing he loves most. And this, this may have happened also a long time ago as well, but Brett Favre, the day after his father passed away, threw for 399 yards and four touchdowns on Monday Night Football. It's just these constant examples have led me to believe that victory can come out of tragedy. In addition to this, the horrific Boston bombings in 2013, the Red Sox won the World Series that year. I remember as I was at the, the game after, the first game after the marathon bombings occurred, I was at Big Poppy said the iconic, this is our, you know, the F word city. And I could just feel the emotion in that stadium. And that goes back to when we have something that's hurting us so bad, our mind thinks, how do I get this out? There's different ways to get it out, but we try and block it with something that we love so much that brings people together. In addition to that, the most recent of tragedies that led to a sports victory was Hurricane Harvey in 2017, which devastated the city of Houston. And the Houston Astros won the World Series last year. After not being favorited, they were against all odds, and they ended up winning the World Series. It was just an incredible, an incredible, incredible event. And as of recent, the Las Vegas Golden Knights. For those of you who do not know, the Las Vegas Golden Knights are a new hockey franchise as of this year. And at the beginning of the season, considering they had to basically create a whole new team, bring in a bunch of players, they had 500 to one odds to make it to the uh, Stanley Cup. A few days before their season opener, the horrific Las Vegas shootings occur, and now they're in the finals. And they're, at this point, I mean, just watching the games, you can see the passion, you see the fans, you see the, the passion, you feel it, you sense it when you're watching the games. And just, I, I can, it brings together all these examples of what, in critical thinking, gets us to that point. I think it is also the anxiety and anxiousness that we talked about earlier in class. It's just in our nature to constantly think and have thoughts just spiral and spiral out of control. Where something as a sport can lead us to not think and just do. And that is what I would like to leave you with today. Don't think and just do. Thank you.